Welcome back to Hawaii's Kitchen. Again, we're joined this morning by Duraku Kaka'ako, Izakaya, and Sushi. Joined by their general manager, David, as well as executive chef, Jake. Now, Jake, you're going to get started on this dish. We're actually going to be making a pan-seared salmon. So go ahead, get started, and tell us what you're doing. All right, so we're going to start off with the butter. We're going to make a garlic butter pond, um, herb sauce. Mmm. That sounds amazing. Okay. We're just going to quickly chop some parsley. Okay. And then we're also talking off camera. You guys do something really special with your rice. Can you tell us a bit more about how you prepare that? So we start by washing the rice till the water turns clear. Okay. And then we let it sit for about 15 minutes. It's uh, what's known as cracking the rice. Okay, and I had never heard about this before. Yeah, not many have. Okay, and then what big difference does that make? Uh, soaking allows it to soak up a little extra water, gives it a little more time. Okay. So when it cooks it, the finished product has a bit more of a sheen to it and a better texture to it as well. Oh, okay, so that's the secret, I see. Okay, and then you just added into the butter parsley some garlic, is that what that was? Yes, garlic. Okay. So right now we're going to get the pan nice and hot. All right. And we're right now cooking on a gas stove. David, we were talking a little bit off camera about this as well. Why do you prefer cooking with natural gas? I mean, in a restaurant situation, even at home, I have gas. We had electric before, but it's a more even cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, electric just doesn't allow that to happen. In a restaurant, there's absolutely no way you could cook with electric. It's just uh, it's more economical. Really. Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. Thanks. All right, and now we have the butter going, all mixed up together. This is ready to go. Okay. We're going to start off with the uh, salmon. This is our king salmon. It's a uh, farm raised from New Zealand. Beautiful. So, what we're going to do, these are about six ounce portions, mm -hmm. and we're just going to score the skin really quickly so that it doesn't curl up in the pan. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's a good tip. So, you just slice in, not too deep either, just kind of cutting the skin. Exactly. Okay. Not too deep. So we have a little bit of our Hawaiian rock salt. Just gonna sprinkle that on, get it into the little grooves, the mm -hmm. slits. Make sure it gets in there real good. Amazing. And that also, I'm sure, brings out a lot of flavor in there too, right? Oh, definitely. A little bit of pepper. And is this kind of one of your more popular dishes, would you say? Oh, yeah, I'd say it's one of the top sellers. Aside from our, our rolls, uh, the specialty rolls, but yeah. Okay. Out of the kitchen, this is definitely one of the most popular. So our pan's nice and hot. All right. We're going to have to get some of this. Oh, okay. Oil. There we go. And what type of oil is that? Uh, we are using uh, a little bit of olive oil, olive but oil. you can use canola or vegetable as well. Okay. We're just going to lay it in there. Ooh, and I hope you can hear that. Chef, so chef tells me about a little uh, a secret. He's noticed when he lays it down in, he let, pulls it away from him. Away. You want to so splash that hot oil onto you. Okay, yep, that's a good tip, definitely. Give it a little press. And then how long do we typically sear that then for? So it's uh, typically about 80%. You want to cook it skin side down. And then we'll flip it and finish it on the back side. Okay, absolutely. Delicious. And then we're also going to be slicing up some mushrooms. How does this tie into the dish? So this is our uh, king mushroom. King All right. Oyster mushrooms. They have a really good texture to it, very meater, meaty texture to it. And it goes really well with uh, the salmon. Okay. So I'm just going to do a few thin slices. These are the uh, hamakua. Uh, Lee mushrooms grown on the Hamakua coast of the Big Island. They're okay. organic. And is that something that Duraku tries to do, really incorporate those local ingredients? Uh, whenever possible. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, like, this is a New Zealand farm-raised uh, sashimi, sashimi grade salmon. Mm -hmm. uh, we use that because it's uh, the farm-raised. It's not like farm-raised back, back in the day when it was just in a little arena. They do it. It's, it's this whole, like, natural... Mm -hmm area for them to be swimming around and they're all tagged so we know which ones are good. Oh, wow. But they got like a lot of nice fatty uh, tenons there so it makes it a more buttery. Right, yeah, that looks delicious. Yeah. And when it's more fatty and oily like that, it's, it's that's burning. when you And know it's good it's fat, good. it's good oil. It's omega-3, exactly. so we're making a healthy dish over it's here too. It's the healthy one. look at the butter. <laughs> all right, so now you're actually putting on, spreading on that butter concoction butter that we butter. made yes. in, onto the mushrooms. I've never actually done that. I always just put like it in Like you said, oil. it's like a very meaty, uh, meaty textured mushroom, which you'll, you'll find out once you taste okay, it. Okay, well, I We can't actually serve this just as its own dish. 
Really? Uh, Izakaya, smaller portions. These are this is one of the vegetable dishes we serve. Well, perfect. Okay, we're going to finish searing and grilling these up, and I'm actually going to get to taste some of this coming up in the next segment, and we'll be talking a little bit more about the restaurant and how they do some group activities. We'll tell you more about that coming up in just a bit. Thank you, Kelly. That looks so good. And you know, salmon is a dish that I make a lot at home, so it's yes. nice to see how they're doing it. Uh, those tips with the slits and right? then you put the salt in there. I thought that was amazing, and I, lo I love the fact that they actually crack the rice. I know. Right? Yeah, I've never heard that. Cracking, cracking a rice. rice. You have crack seed, but not <laughs> cracking your rice. Yeah. And if you, in case you missed it, I think they, they, they wash the rice until the water's clear right. and then they let it sit. So that was, this is a new chore for my daughter. Wash the rice and then crack it for 15 <laughs> minutes before you cook it. That sounds good. Uh, Coming up on Living 808.